Hey guys, in this video we'll look into another few objectives for the MO200 exam and namely uh, formatting and applying some styles in Excel. Before we start, I encourage you as always to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new training content. And now let's begin. <clears throat> so let's begin with Format Painter which is a useful feature in Excel that lets you quickly copy, let's say, your favorite format. So let's apply to this cell this calculation format. And in order to copy that, you use Format Painter. When you click it once, you can apply it once, either to a cell or, or you can apply it to a cell range. And when you click it twice, it is it stays up, it stays on even after you've applied to some cells. And in order to like don't use it anymore, you either can click the escape key or click it again. So let's revert those changes. Perfect. And now let's move on to another objective, which is to apply number formats. So firstly, all of the options are here. It is common to apply, for example, a percent style or some currency or for more options, let's go here. And here is the number format. It is useful to know that and specifically to set an exact number of decimal places which we will set to 2 and how the negative numbers should be displayed so usually we use the minus sign but we can also use for example red formatting instead so let's use that and we'll apply that to those two numbers so we expect here the minus sign to uh, minus sign not to be anymore and formatting red here we expect two decimal places and then we'll de copy the format onto this, these cells. So let's click OK. As you can see, everything is applied correctly. And now we can copy that formatting. And notice that formatting doesn't mean only the look and style, but also like a number formatting and so on. So we can copy that format and apply it to this cell range. Perfect. The next objective is to apply cell formats from the format cells dialog box. So let's write some text here. I'm not sure if we're gonna use it. So all the options are here. So you can, for example, use the bold style. You can set the font size, the exact font. Uh, enlarge the text, increase font size, set the fill color, and so on. And this is the format cells dialog box. So make sure that you're comfortable with all of the options because there are quite a few. So for example, uh, you can't find uh, like easily strike through here. I think you can access it here or not. So in order to apply strike through, you click here and apply strike through, for example. Let's click OK. And this is it. The next objective is to apply cell styles, which we've actually done here. So you click on cell. Here are the available styles. Make sure that you can navigate those, those numbers quickly because in the exam you'll encounter a specific style name and you are expected to find it and apply it. So let's say that they ask us to apply gold accent for style. We click here. That's it. And the last objective is to clear cell formatting. And for that, I'll actually insert a hyperlink. So to Google like that. And in order to clear cell formatting, we go to the home tab and here under the editing group, you can clear the formatting 
and there are a few options here so let's go through them firstly we can remove the functionality of hyperlinks so it stays like a normal text so now when i go with pointer here you can see that it is a hyperlink when i clear hyperlink it becomes a simple text now i can clear formats and it looks normal and i can clear contents and there is nothing in this cell we could have also done it everything uh, one in one by using this function clear all so yeah guys that is all for today i hope you find it useful and easy if so smash that like button and we'll catch you guys in the next one bye